Hello everybody and welcome to a new MA Tips. This time I want to show you the selection grid in GrandMA 3, which gives us new possibilities for our fixture selection. In GrandMA 3 we can have a more dimensional fixture selection. That means we can place our fixture selection in this selection grid and it can have an X, Y and even Z position. One of the easy ways to create a more dimensional fixture selection is to work directly in the selection grid. So we select a position, then we select a fixture. We select the next position and a fixture and so on. And you can see that we easily created a two-dimensional fixture selection here. This grid information will be also stored in our groups. So when we store this as a group, we clear our selection and we select the group again, you can see that this two-dimensional fixture selection is stored in that group. So for us, this grid information is just our selection order, so it is our real fixture selection. What is this good for? Let's have a look at a grid I created here in my show, which is this one, and you can see that I placed my fixtures in this selection grid exactly as they are placed in my real rig. Now our selection grid becomes real powerful, because everything I program from now onwards is used directly on this selection grid. So when I type in at 0 through 100, you can see that this is mapped directly from the left to the right via my selection grid. This becomes even more powerful when you think about dynamic values. So let's clear our programmer. We select our grid again and I program a simple dimmer phaser from the left to the right. So first step 100, next step 0. Let's give a phase for our dimmer value of 0 through 360. And now you can see the real benefit of the selection grid. We have a synchronous dimmer phaser from the left to the right via our three trusses, even when we have gaps in between. So we have different amounts of fixtures on all different trusses. So the times of patching dummy fixtures, you know from GrandMA 2, are gone. In our next videos, we will come back more often to this selection grid because it is even more powerful in some different situations. So, please have a look at this new amazing feature, stay tuned and see you next time for the MA Tips.